Well, thanks for watching this episode of Answer the Call. Our next story comes from Abilene, Texas. We're visiting Global Samaritan Resources, and with me is Michael Bob Starr, the Executive Director. Michael Bob, thank you so much for joining Annette and I and sharing this ministry. Oh, thanks with our for viewers. coming to Global Samaritan and visiting Abilene. Welcome to Abilene. Beautiful place, and uh, it's amazing how you've answered the call from being in the Air Force as a colonel to now leading the God's Army here yeah. at Global Samaritan. 23 so, years, 23 years in the Air Force as a B-1 pilot. I went from Global Strike Command to Global Samaritan Resources. It's amazing. And you've, <laughs> there's probably a lot of similarities in working in a, in a military and in the body of Christ leading the Army the troops. Well, I, I think you, know, you bring different uh, skills and, and experiences to bear, and, uh, and certainly being very mission-oriented in the Air Force is yeah. something that I've been able to bring over to Global Samaritan Resources. Yeah, that's good. So uh, talk a little bit about your journey. How did you answer the call? How did, how did God uh, put you in a saddle over here, so to speak? Well, I had retired from the Air Force. I actually ran for Congress and uh, had a very short-lived political career and uh, ended up being retired, retired. And, yeah. and I, was, I was happy. I did some volunteering for several organizations. Mm -hmm including Global Samaritan Resources. And uh, the board called me one day and said, we think, need to ask you a favor. I said, well, I haven't told you guys no yet, so what is it? Let's have coffee. And yeah. they said, well, we want you to run the place. And I went, oh, okay. Well, let me, let's, uh, let's talk about that. So right. that's how I ended up here. That's awesome. So talk a little bit about the vision, the mission. We talked earlier as you were giving us a tour through the warehouse. Mm -hmm. You guys are very logistical and strategic about what you do. Yeah, so our, our mission is to demonstrate God's love by providing logistics expertise to organizations that are helping people facing hardship, crisis, and disaster. Yeah. That's a lot of words, and you and I talked about how, what right. each one of those phrases means. But basically what we do is we build a bridge between people and organizations that have goods to donate mm -hmm. with organizations that need those services. You, you even see it in the, in the opening credits of your show. You see yeah. how we normally think about humanitarian aid or helping people. We think about it in these vertical slivers. We think about children's ministry or food or single mothers or mm -hmm. pure water. And those are all great organizations and we're so glad we have organizations that, right. that answer those calls right. and people that have those problems on their heart. Right. Global Samaritan Resources is organized differently, so we're organized horizontally, if you, if you mm -hmm. think of those other organizations being vertical. We only do logistics, mm -hmm. and we do it for other organizations mm -hmm. that are trying to reach people. Because yeah. that's something everybody has in common, whether you're trying to serve your local community or trying to send aid around the world, right. as you see behind us, yeah. you need, you, you're probably going to encounter some logistics challenge and need some logistics right. help. Well, since you brought it up, do you want to talk about where some of those uh, strings are going? Yeah, so we uh, actually we, we stopped updating this uh, several <laughs> several months ago just because it got to be too many strings. But Global Samaritan has served organizations in 56 countries around the world, wow. and that's on top of the world uh, on top of the work mm -hmm. that we do here in the local Abilene area and throughout yeah. the United States. Right. I love your heart there. You said, you know, we're not going to worry so much about over there and miss our neighbor across the street. So we've exactly. had some interviews with some local ministries that just can't sing your praises enough how you really helped them out mm -hmm. in a pinch with some furniture after their building burnt mm -hmm. down or whatever the need is. Um, you guys are really a hub for it. And yeah. we, we strive to meet people where their need is mm -hmm. and whether we have to go uh, around the world or around the block to do that. We'll, we'll meet them where their need is. Right. So medical missions is big and we interviewed a doctor who's got some stuff out there in a the warehouse mm -hmm. ready to go. So yeah. talk about that. So that's uh, Physicians Aiding Physicians Abroad, and he's got a shipment we're preparing to go to Guatemala, and we've helped him go to several places in Africa. Uh, you know, it's just fun just to walk through our warehouse sometimes because yeah. you know, it's always changing. Yeah. But right now, as we walk through today, we have a shipment of food being prepared to go to Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. Right behind that is another shipment of food getting ready to go to Iraq. Right. You turn the corner, there's a shipment going to uh, um, Zambia. Mm -hmm. Right next to that is the shipment going to Swaziland, uh, uh, educational supplies going yeah. to a Christian school in Swaziland. Then you have the Guatemala shipment, and, and, so the, and that's, we, we're doing that kind of turnover every day. Yeah, and what's cool and what our viewers might not know is that this used to be a Coca-Cola plant, and as we got here, within minutes, there was a Coca-Cola truck delivering 89 pallets of tea. ICs. Yes, exactly. So the, uh, uh, the Coca-Cola actually called the local United Way and said they had 89 pallets of overproduced tea that they wanted to donate to a charity. And, and United Way initially thought they said eight or nine pallets. Right. So they said, yeah, we'll take it. And then once they found out it was 89, 89, <laughs> wow. they called us. And, uh, you know, that's, just, that's not a call you're expecting to get on a Monday morning. To, right. to, hey, do you have room for 89 <laughs> pallets of, of uh, 
T, but uh, we, we have a warehouse and we use that to do God's business. And yeah. we uh, know that we can take things in like that right. and ultimately provide them to people that are trying to, to serve others. Yeah, well, we've talked to quite a few ministries, and we heard the secret to ministry is to keep your hands open, and so God can easily mm -hmm. put stuff in and easily take stuff out mm -hmm. to get it to where it needs to be, that mm -hmm. blessings flow through. Talk about that mindset here. Well, that, that's actually a really good model of what we do. I mean, we, 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 uh, we will take just about anything that comes in. The only thing, we, we don't do a lot of clothes, right. and we have people that will bring us clothing, um, and we will sort of gently redirect them to another agency. Or if, right. you know, it just depends on sometimes people are in the middle of a very traumatic situation that's led them right. to bring that gift to you, whether it's a, a death in the family. Right. And in that case, we'll, we'll accept it. And we'll just take care of, of right. getting it to right. an organization that can use it. But, yeah, that's good. So um, you wanted to talk about some of the different types of organizations that need to know what you guys do, that maybe there may be some future partnerships on the horizon. Talk about that. I think people watching generally fall into three different camps, and, and the first camp is everybody, right? So right. I think that everybody can join us in praying for uh, the people that are in these situations yeah. and the groups uh, that will serve them, that will rise up and serve them, and, and the, mm -hmm. the people with the heart to, to provide the, the manpower and the, and right. the money for those groups. Right. Uh, I think there's a, a second set of organizations, and, and this is what I really hope to find, is uh, that, that groups out there with a heart to provide humanitarian aid and they just can't quite connect the dots. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly into, into what we're here field. for. Yeah. And although we're based in Abilene, Texas, yeah. we can arrange for shipments from anywhere to anywhere else. And yeah. it's just we, we specialize in that so that we can provide some value and be efficient to people who, who need that service. So yeah. I hope to reach organizations like that yeah. that are, are sitting there scratching their head trying to think, you know, how do I get this pile of stuff to where I'd like it? Or we built the bridge the other way too. So missionaries or ministries that are serving overseas trying to reach back into and to get some resources we can work we can build a bridge either way I like to say we can yeah. build it from the origin or from the destination and third I suspect there might be a group out there that has just been waiting for a logistics organization to be to partner with and, and be a yeah. part of it and yeah. we certainly would appreciate any contributions or, or donations if people want to join us in that effort or people that uh, want to leverage their donation in a way that's able to affect a lot of organizations at once. Right. So in the aspect of serving these organizations and, and having uh, resources flow through, talk about how that plays a, a bigger part into the big picture of the Great Commission. So I, I think that um, as we're, we're called to you know, reach out and make disciples, right. Uh, you know, we are reaching out to people who have needs. Everybody has needs. Right. And we, we are blessed here in, in, in America to have most of those needs met. And so we're not right. as aware of it as, as some others are. Although there are certainly people in our community that, that have needs. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's very important to, to meet those physical needs first. And, and a lot of times that will open the door to addressing spiritual needs. So yeah, sharing the gospel, making disciples, and everybody has a different part to play. And uh, a lot of people behind the scenes that are providing the resources, whether it's finances or volunteers, to help a, a ministry like you get things out in the field is just crucial. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. It's a body of Christ. Yeah. And, and we all have a part to play, and, and we have different functions. And it's one of the th things I really appreciate about being involved in this ministry yeah. is because of what we do, we're able to touch so many different organizations and see yeah. the, uh, that, that, that this organization is a hand and, and this organization is a foot and, and, and how they're responding to yeah. their different specific needs and yeah. to be in a position where we can uh, yeah. aid them in, in different ways, helping to store goods for a, a local charity or whether we're staging it for local distribution or for international shipping or right. helping that shipping right. uh, actually happen right. and, and those goods to reach the destination where they're intended. It's just, it's an honor to be part of it. Yeah, you got to kind of see the big picture there. Mm -hmm. That's good. Is there anything else the Lord put on your heart to share with our viewers before we, uh, before we close? No, again, we just really appreciate the part that everyone pl plays, and, and we're, we're glad to be part of it. And again, if, if you have a logistics challenge or logistics need, uh, sometimes uh, we do a lot of disaster relief because the, there yeah. can be a lot of you know, on-the-fly logistics you're creating when you do that. Yeah. Um, if we can help you, Please let us add value to your mission. I'm, I'm more interested in finding other organizations that we can add value to versus yeah. asking for, for resources to do our own. Yeah, amen. Well, stay tuned. We're going to get some interviews from some folks that were on staff, a board member, and some other ministries that are partnering with Global Samaritan Resources so you can see how they've answered the call in the big picture of serving the body of Christ.
Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.